Hey yo everyone, so the 1.4.1 update is here, aka rounding out the journey update. And I wanted to check out the changelog before we hopped in game and saw everything. Uh, sorry if I sound weird, I just woke up and immediately started recording this. So let us see what's popping with 1.4.1. Greeting Terrarians, welcome to launch day for Terraria 1.4.1 on PC. As we have alluded to in previous news, items and spoilers around this update, Terraria 1.4.1 is primarily focused on adding in pieces that were not quite ready in time for the journey's end launch date along with more fixes balance tweaks and a few new tidbits that we decided to add along the way located below you will find the full change log for 1.4.1 so what all does story 1.4.1 contain here are some of the bigger top line tidbits of note but again refer to the full change log for a complete accounting of things of course we got the vanity contest winners. These are probably some of the best vanities we've ever seen in Terraria because they all just look good. I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer or not, but just look at these vanities. They look amazing. As promised, we have added the winning vanity sets from the Journey's End Vanity Design Contest. These turned out really well, and we are beyond excited to see these in game. Be sure to once again congratulate the winners and thank them for such awesome designs, for making such awesome designs possible. So the winners are the Plaguebringer, one Wandering Ronin, the Timeless Traveler, Florid Protector, Capricorn, and the bonus winner, TV Head. All six of these are craftable with pre hardmode materials of various sorts. See, that, that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting to see how you obtain these things. And I do like that they're craftable. It actually gives you an objective to go get them instead of just, you know, just buying them. So that all players can experience these awesome vanity sets. Thanks to everyone who participated and voted in the vanity contest and especially to our winners. Hey, you know, this contest, I don't remember seeing any Terraria content creators influencing this contest unlike the uh minecraft mob vote where we had a couple of creators influencing votes but you know i just don't want to compare communities or anything credits look at this shout out everyone that worked on this new npc so i heard about them adding in one more npc to this and this is it right here the new npc the princess how will you discover and unlock this regal companion what does she do you'll have to explore and find out on your own okay i'll, I'll look at the change log and it'll tell me there right new achievements looking good now my turn it won't be 100 percent but this is nice to have more achievements all right now just looking at this just looking at this gif right here gif whatever i can already tell they did what i wanted them to do and the one thing i wanted them to do in 1.4.1 was actually make summoner more viable and they actually did it and this is what has made me so excited for 1.4.1 we have included a handful of new items with several focus on filling out the early slash pre hard mode summoner options we're personally fans of the new flink space summoner gear bro it's a flinx their noses are huge i used to thought the flinx's nose was their arm just like sticking out forward no that's their damn nose those things are huge okay so here's where we get into the uh the nitty gritty of everything we got the balance changes as you likely are aware terraria journeys end contain a ton of changes to balance across the entire progression of the game as are the changes of this nature everyone had thoughts and feedback we invited everyone to weigh in on the robust discussion in our official balance slash feedback thread and you did not disappoint with that feedback back in hand along with our own post launch thoughts we've made even more balance changes that we hope will bring things even closer to feeling just right for most folks a little bit of everything has been impacted here so we really encourage you to read up before you are surprised there are simply too many things to list here so for the full list please click on the balance changes i'm gonna click on it okay that's not how you click on it you click on it like this okay i don't know where the hell that led me oh down here all right so let's do it if you guys don't want to see spoilers don't look close your eyes or just leave the video leave a like though new content let's start with this we obviously got the vanity new achievements new princess stuff new early game summon equipment flinks fur coat and the flink staff interesting very interesting is that it though just the flink stuff there has to be more a new pre hard mode whip yes sir craftable at dungeon tier added a lava proof fishing hook plus angular tackle bag tinker what does that mean does that mean like i can combine them together beehives and antlion eggs to now be crafted in place that's i don't like that <laughs> added a rainbow cursey cursor vanity accessory they done added the damn rainbow cursor that chippy asked for maybe some other people asked for why not the game raiders toilet man i don't got enough influence yet we got some vanity accessories here you guys can read these these aren't really anything crazy there's a couple cool things in here though uh the main one that matters here i don't really care about anything but plantero sombrero has made a triumphant return when did they even take it away they did my boy plantero dirty but we really just want to look at this right here the balance changes and you know exactly where we're going 
into summoning weapons. Oh my god, here we go. Whips damage reduction on multiple targets. On releasing 1.4, all whips deal reduced damage to each additional target hit per swing. This penalty is heavier on earlier whips and lighter on later whips. However, as of this update, later whips are having this penalty reduced further. Cool whips damage penalty is reduced from 32% to 30%. Durndal's damage penalty is reduced from 30 to 20. Okay, you guys, you guys get it. Uh, whip range. Every whip except for the other whip has had a range increase. Yes, sir. This is what I wanted. I hated that you had to get close as hell sometimes. They're whips and they have long range, but not long enough. And you had to get close as hell to whip things. And I hated that as a summoner. The whole point of a summoner is you're making minions do your bidding. You're They're the ones attacking so you can focus on dodging and stuff. When you give a, a summoner a melee type weapon and you got to get close to whips, like that shit does not go together very well. This increase is the smallest with earlier whips snapthorn only roughly 10 percent longer that's still pretty long and larger with later whips several late game whips have a roughly 50 percent increase that's crazy morning star i'm looking at you morning star for reference kaleidoscope now has roughly the same range as solar eruption that's good as hell whips can now gain the benefits of flash buff that's something people have been asking for for the longest um the leather whip is now purchasable from the zoologist at 10 percent completion instead of 15 percent as 15 percent too often left it more efficient to just sequence break to the jungle to obtain the snap thorn that's facts i think five percent would have even been better too because 15 percent that's damn near all of pre hard mode uh, the finch staff should now be somewhat more reliable accurate when hitting its targets however due to how early it is obtained it is intentionally a little inaccurate as this is part of its balancing enemies knocked back by finches should almost always be knocked back away from the player now regardless of the angle of finch what i'm not seeing here is the finch being a hundred percent drop or spawn in worlds which is very very upsetting because that this finch staff right here being the first staff you can get your hands on if you're doing summoner only i'm talking about you're not hitting things with pickaxes you're not hitting things with your axe if you're doing summoner only and you do not find a finch staff you have to reset your world unless the guide kills a slime and that slime drops the what like 0.2 percent slime staff whatever the hell the percentage on the slime staff is you legit cannot play so them not making the finch staff a permanent drop per world or at least have 100 percent drop rate per world or even just a higher drop per world that's a little upsetting the optic staff technically a bug but retin retin retina minis laser were accidentally not set to use independent immunity timers which meant that they were still conflicting with the other piercing attacks while the 1.4 change log had indicated otherwise okay that's that's good that they fixed that sanguine staff uh oh big red letters and it says nerf what did they do to our boy the attack speed of the sanguine bats have been increased from 60 to 66 this is how long it takes to make their attack circuit okay that's not that bad fire rate cooldown increased from 30 to 33 roughly 10 percent slower attack speed for the xeno staff also not too bad most of the time the xeno staff doesn't even be attacking no cap tempest staff this got buff fire rate cooldown decreased from 60 to 50 roughly 20 percent faster attack speed projectile speed of the shark rounds increased from 14 to 20 movement speed of the tempest themselves increased by 50 percent so they can chase after enemies more quickly very nice hornet staff damage increase yes sir we love to see that vampire frog staff damage increase yes sir we love to see that enemies cannot be damaged by their entire body not just the tongue we love to see that like with the optic staff this was technically a bug but vampire frogs were not set to use independent immunity timers like most other minions this has been remedied so they should no longer interfere with other piercing projectiles we really do love to see that i said it what like four times for this one change pygmy staff projectile speed increased from 12 to 18 increase the range at which pygmies will fire their spears for roughly 40 percent that's really good this results in pygmies who can fire from further away and will just and will be just as accurate doing it with even better accuracy than before at closer range desert tiger staff a buff base damage increased from 33 to 41 hey i thought the desert tiger staff was pretty good it just has so much raw damage that it does killer against the golem because it just bounces around all the golems parts hitbox size while using a special attack increase to reduce situation where it misses even better frost hydra staff projectiles now pierce twice hitting up to three enemies applies a 15 percent damage penalty penalty to the next hit for each enemy projectile pierces that's really good explosive trap staff increase explosion size and detection for set explosion by 50 percent reduce explosion cooldown from 110 to 90 reduce the hunches slash red hiding hood special set cooldowns for more information about changes to oil debuff see the buffs as debuffs what the hell is oil and kaleidoscope damage increased 
by 15 very nice so i don't know these are just weapons so armors are separate and accessories so i'm hyped to see this and mounts let us go ahead and check out the armor section here the first thing we got is the cactus armor remove the one defense set bonus new set bonus cactus armor now deals a flat 15 thorns damage this damage multiplied to 30 and 45 respectively in expert and master mode beautiful love to see that i've always wanted them to do like a armor overhaul for like early armors and give them actual set bonuses this is a start mining armor increase the drop rate of mining shirt and mining pants from 2.4 to 12 percent that's not a typo that's a that's a big percentage increase note the mining set was for the vast majority of players simply too rare to ever be used during the period of time which it would be useful while still fairly rare the substantial drop rate increase should make it plausible set to obtain for players who make an effort to seek out unknown miners additional note due to the mining helmet being available for direct purchase its drop rate was not increased makes sense gladiator armor here we go increase the defense of the helmet and leggings by one increase the defense of the breastplate by two new set bonus players wearing the full gladiator set are immune to knockback and then they increase the drop rates very interesting that they added some stuff to that you know what would make all this armor rework beautiful if i see the obsidian armor set in here next up we got fossil armor increased defense on helmet and grease from two to four increased range critical chance on helmet and grease from three to four increased defense of plate from four to five replace the three percent range critical bonus on the plate with five percent damage bonus beautiful wizard hat nerf damn the wizard hat got nerf i never even used that thing magic damage decreased from 15 to five that's a that's a really big decrease right there defense increased from two to four note the set bonus for this item is untouched magic Magic hat also nerfed. Okay, I guess it's not that bad. Meteor armor got a buff. Increase the magic damage bonus on each piece from 7% to 9%. Nice. Cross listing from magic se section. Space guns damage decreased by two and its mana cost reduced by one. Ooh, that's not the greatest. Note this change is an experiment to attempt to slightly decentralize the focus and power of Meteor's armor set bonus with space gun. While giving it a bit more oomph with other weapons that increase damage on the Meteor. Well, let's see, uh, here's the thing. The Meteor armor set literally is made for the space gun. So I don't know about them nerfing the space gun a little bit to try and make the Meteor armor more viable. It's like, I really don't think it's worth it. Just wear, if you're playing a mage, just either wear jungle armor if you're not gonna use the space gun, or fuck, even use hellstone armor <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if i if i like the meteor armor stuff hey speak about jungle armor and the ancient cobalt armor increase the magic critical chance bonus on the hat and pants from four to six place the four percent magic critical bonus on the shirt with a six percent magic damage bonus there you go even more reason to just use the jungle armor if you're not gonna use the space gun necro armor got nerfed decrease the set bonus range critical chance from 15 to 10 increasing defense of each piece by one three total okay so it's like a nerf and a buff they should probably list that or they should just put like tweak i don't know <laughs> obsidian armor oh my god i was literally just talking about this what the heck <laughs> oh man converted the obsidian armor into a whip centric summoner armor bro this is a major pog moment can we get some poggers in the chat obsidian armor set pieces can now only be crafted at a hellforge and require shadow scales slash tissue samples damn okay obsidian outlaw hat now gives nine percent summon damage okay obsidian long coat now gives plus one minion count okay obsidian grease now give nine percent summon damage okay new set bonus increase whip range and speed by 50 percent additionally gain another 25 percent summon damage god damn this set will deal very high summon damage but at the expense of a lower minion count instead of focus dramatically improving the performance and damage of whips you can still be obtained earlier as an alternative to b armor but it may require a bit more legwork to obtain this set giving this new crafting station requirement beautiful i love to see this i've talked about it in the past with my discord i might have even talked about it during streams or episodes where i was talking about like just convert certain armors into summoner armor sets you know what i'm saying I, I was thinking like well why don't they just make the fossil armor a summoner set since there's no throwing why don't they just make the obsidian armor set a summoner set since it does nothing why don't they just make the gladiator set a summoner set and they finally did something molten armor got buffed new set bonus players wearing the full molten set cannot be inflicted with the on fire debuff this addition to the pre-existing 10 percent damage bonus that's really good uh, you guys can read the rest the rest is all melee stuff pretty much cobalt armor also got a buff which you kind of like to see but yeah i'm gonna just skim over things unless i see something crazy uh for example the cobalt armor you get a 10 percent magic damage bonus to the cobalt hat nice palladium nerf with minor buff see they put what the fuck they didn't put that for the necro armor reduce the potency of the healing set bonus from six to four uh the melee mass they increase the damage the magic they increase the damage 
and then palladium headgear and increase the damage i think that's a that's like a perfect nerf and buff mythical armor had a set bonus increase from 10 to from 5 to 10 not bad i see a lot of increases there or calcum increases we're seeing a lot of increases everywhere which is a very very good uh forbidden armor robes now have a 10 percent summon damage bonus so this is very nice more summon damage on that armor set since it is sort of a hybrid armor set i didn't i kind of never liked it and it seemed like more like a waste of time to get your hands on especially since the set bonus i don't know from my experience the tornado set bonus isn't the greatest i don't know so another thing i wanted to see here was this the crystal assassin armor buff slash rework because the set kind of sucked so they added 10 percent mana cost reduction to the hood 10 percent ammo cost reduction to the shirt melee speed increase to the pants remove the 15 percent movement speed increase set bonus yeah that was garbage i don't know what they were thinking with that but increase the movement's bonus on the boots from 10 to 20 only a 5% loss. And the new set bonus is players wearing the full crystal set can now dash. That's pretty damn good. That makes it so players that use the Cthulhu shield, which is like 90% of players, they can drop it when they get this armor set for another accessory, which is very useful. Okay, we got a bunch of old ones army stuff here. Unless I see summoner stuff when I'm looking at this, I'm not going to read it. Oh, here we go. Move 5% of the minion magic damage from robes to hat. I don't know how long this video is. It's probably going to take me forever to edit too, but we have so much more we're still looking at. I'm trying to just keep it to summoner stuff, but there's a lot of interesting interesting things to look at here the bone glove this is the one thing i'm excited about this item has been completely overhauled and turned into an accessory when a clip equipped the player will shoot crossbones towards their cursor whenever they're attacking once per second consider it like a sword projectile except for it works for every weapon i'm interested how it works for summoner do you just shoot it out when your summoner is attacking I i'm assuming uh, the bone deals 25 class neutral damage but additional ignores up to 25 enemy defense now also has vanity visibility in the glove spot note in practice it should allow the bone glove to be simultaneously viable for more classes than just range and also give it a bit more longevity that's what we like to see because the bone glove is damn near useless even as a thrower this is the one thing i wanted to see fledgling wings and luck horseshoe the lucky horseshoe is no longer found in sky chest and have been added to the underground gold chest loot pool in its place fledgling wings have been added to sky chest and sky crates you love to see it we get an early game wing set the fledgling wings they're a decent set of wings they're the wings you get when you play journeys mode and now here's another main thing i wanted to look at the pygmy necklace is now sold by the witch doctor in pre-hard mode giving summoning accessories some early game accessibility that's it i don't know why it says accessories like there's multiple early game ones black spot nerf oof this is what you don't like to see this is like legit the only redeeming factor of playing on master mode is the black spot can no longer dash in the mount to instantly reach top acceleration oh my you hate to see it you really hate to see it now master mode there's no point in even playing master mode why should i do it the flamingo got nerfed that's also something i don't like to see yeah other than that there's nothing too crazy here uh at this point i'm just kind of blazing through things oh here we go now drops from the queen slime instead of enchanted swords blade staff are you kidding me you know how much time and effort i put into this <laughs> it's a good thing i can't be mad it's a good thing sanguine staff increased drop rate from one to five to one and two from dreadnoughtless uh an expert in masters is dropping 100 percent really damn i'm still not seeing the finch staff on here uh we do have the vampire frog staff to have a higher drop rate i believe so that's that's very nice oh this is really good early game or tools weapons and armor the cost of making early game or equipment has been reevaluated across the board with cost reductions to most items this applies to copper tin iron lead silver tungsten gold and platinum so this is actually amazing because i always complain about it every time i make an ore set i always complain about like why does this take so much ore if you want to make like two full platinum sets for you and one of your friends then that's just two people you need like 400 ore maybe even more than that and that's fucking insane okay buffs and debuffs oiled this is what we wanted to look at rather than individually boosting different on fire light okay i don't think this really matters too much does it <laughs> yeah there you go there's a majority of things to go over in the 1.4.1 balance stuff uh, there's probably a bunch of good bug fixes here too but those are the things that i wanted to see personally and here's my big announcement many people have asked game readers what happened to the summoner master mode series did you give up did you quit did the world actually delete itself the truth is i just stopped playing it because i didn't enjoy it i feel like i spent so much time in the world there were certain points of the playthrough where i just was questioning if i should continue or not i just didn't enjoy the playthrough anymore the multiple hours of farming for certain things didn't help it at all once i heard that 1.4.1 was potentially gonna add in more summoner stuff slash tweak some of the things the idea popped into my head that it would be perfect to redo the whole entire playthrough that is a lot more hours but one thing about me not doing a playthrough for the longest time is i kind of
kind of lose a connection to the character in that world it's like if you guys have ever played skyrim before or any big open world game like that and you play it you play it over and over you're really enjoying it and then you take like a couple of weeks off from playing it because say you're busy or you're playing another game it's really hard to hop back in to that game and feel like you're connected with the world and character you just don't know what's going on and then that leads you to start a new character who's been there i've been there plenty of times i play fallout and skyrim all the time i play oblivion and other fallout games all the time and i do it all the time where i stop playing a character for a while and then i restart the playthrough it's a never-ending cycle pretty much so i thought let's restart the master mode summoner playthrough and this is legit perfect because they added in new stuff they tweaked a bunch of stuff we get to experience that from the beginning and i'm thinking about playing on master mode but playing in journeys mode at the same time just to skip certain farming things here and there and uh that would help me keep that help me be in the playthrough more but i don't know We'll we'll see about that you guys let me know what you guys think this update is fire shout out to relogic for doing this uh but you guys let me know master mode only or should i do journeys mode master mode to help skip a couple farming things here and there let me know thank you everybody for watching we'll have a video on actual like content of this update maybe soon i don't know